Uh, Michael Vandepop said that the Ethereum price would see some reversal amid strong outflows from Grayscale Ethereum, which we saw yesterday because they that's the reason that $133 million came out of the ETF. Uh, it might see two weeks of downward movement before it resumes the rally to new all-time highs. So Ethereum could take support around $3,150 before resuming upward gains. Now, that only ha that happened overnight. And, and and mind you, Michael Vandepop was saying that there's going to be some downward momentum, downward momentum, downward momentum, down to 3150, and then a reversal is likely. It took a day, and we're at 3150. Does it mean that we'll continue on down? I don't know, but it does mean that if we don't hold this as resistance, then people will, traders will step in, and they will start selling on this chart. So um, I would expect to see, we're going to find out pretty soon. Uh, exactly what it's going to look like. Again, we're down to 58 billion of outflows. So we've picked up $22 billion over the last uh, uh, short while. So um, we, we could be looking at a, a really big reversal and a really big move, but it is very, very, very early. So um, we'll keep you up to date as we know. Also, um, going back over here, this is what the spot ETFs look like today. Uh, 106 in yesterday or day before yesterday, and then 133 out. So it's going to take a little time before we really get an idea of what it looks like on these uh, on these flows. So uh, that's not a great sign, but it's also not a horrible sign uh, because this is all about people getting out of grayscale, getting their money out of grayscale as grayscale converts over. Uh, and remember, grayscale fees are very high. These he these fees over here are very low. So people are motivated to move out of the project. So $26 million came out of Ethereum over two days. That's not a lot in the broader market. So uh, I don't think there's anything to be worried about. Uh, if you're worried, so anyway, uh, let's talk about also there's three cryptos that we're going to be watching over the weekend. The three top cryptos to watch over the weekend are going to be number one, Ethereum. Is this 3150 bounce exactly what we're looking for? So the ETH ETFs just went live. We had some outflow in the second day. The second largest cryptocurrency then dipped like 8% immediately. And if Ethereum recovers over this weekend in the, la in the next couple of days, we're good. I think we're golden. And that's going to be the start, or at least that's going to be giving you an idea that something very, very big is happening. And the other one to watch out for is going to be at the same time Solana, because Solana is dipping along the same lines right now as Ethereum, not as bad, but uh, it dipped 1.3% on the day, but it's up 7.8% on the week, 21% on the 14 day and 26% over the previous week because we had that enormous spike. Remember, uh, Solana at one point was down, down, down to 120 just a short few days ago. So an enormous spike off of Solana broke down to the bottom of this channel, came through this channel. What happened? It did exactly what we told you it should do. Broke out, came back for a retest. Now we're going to do this and we're going to have another retest, most likely down into the 160 range. And then that's where the breakout would start to happen. If in fact there is a breakout. Now, could we just get the one back test? I mean, it's possible. Uh, it, it, it's possible. But the more likely scenario is we look at it right now. We eat up this candle a little bit. Uh, we continue on over here for a breakout. Then we get a break down uh, after another break higher. And then that's where you see the takeoff happen. That's what most likely would be the play out and the most likely thing to happen. So be watching Solana and then also be watching XRP because we're going to find out about this lawsuit. It is going to conclude very, very soon. Uh, but uh, consider this, it's rallied 38% uh, in the last 14 days. So in the event that you're holding on to some XRP then and you bought low, then you got a nice 38% profit. And if that's the case, I would again encourage you to take your money uh, and, and don't get caught holding the bag for somebody else. Remember, this is transactional and you can always buy more XRP. There's no law that says that you can't buy once you've reached a certain level or anything like that. So just you can buy more. 
Um, and, and, you know, if you're going to trade it, make sure that you trade it. Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's going to be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore Phi. Now, what's going on with Cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will give me just a moment here, I'm going in, by the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract and end right here 19 june 2025 we're gonna go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game guys i put in half a bitcoin uh previously if you remember that was thirty thousand dollar bitcoin at that point so you know we put in about fifteen thousand dollars my crude interest so far and, and by the way i do have this is a share because it's a 50 50 split but my cut of that eighty four thousand two hundred forty one dollars right now in bitcoin so this is an incredible rate of return so far for cryptonomy.finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to cryptonomy.finance today.